As you already know from our identifying a dual brake system video, the master cylinder in a dual brake system has two pistons. As you can see, they're really not linked very well together. There's just a spring and a retainer pin, and these basically stop them from separating from one another. The real action is hydraulic. When you apply pressure to the end of this piston with your foot, hydraulic pressure accumulates here. It moves this piston forward with the same pressure, which means that coming out of both parts of the master cylinder, we have a nice balance of pressure. The problem is this. If you've got a brand new master cylinder or you've rebuilt your master cylinder, you're going to have air trapped in here. You're going to have air trapped in here. When you go to do your bleed and you do your compression here, you're going to compress the air. It will decompress, compress, and decompress. Because the air is absorbing the energy, this piston isn't going to move very much. You won't get a bleed in front of this and it becomes unsuccessful. The secret or the way to get it done correctly is to bench bleed the master cylinder before you bleed your system. We'll cover how to do that in our next video.